Hello. Good evening to all of you. Hello. 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 Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, the chat would oh. OK, thank you. I was worried about thinking that the my, my microphone is not working. But if you say yes, yeah, thank you very much. I do really appreciate your help. Welcome back, Angel Narciso. Hello, Angel. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you, teacher? Fine. Thank okay. you. Fine. Okay. Excellent. Glad to see you. Hello, Rafael. Hello, teacher. Okay. How was your weekend? Very well, teacher. Do you work on weekend, uh, Rafael? No, sometime. Okay. No, all the time, right? What about you, uh, Angel?
In my house, teacher. Ah, your house, okay. With my family. With your family. Yes, teacher. Excellent. And how is the weather in your, in your areas? Santa Elena, a little cool. A little cool in Santa Elena. Yes. Okay. And where you are, school teacher. Ah, uh, school too. Excellent. Who are you? Who are you a city? It's a touristic place. Touristic, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Ah, oh, okay. What are the major attractions that Ayua has? <laughs> No, understand you, teacher. What say? ¿Cuáles son las atracciones mayores que tiene Guayua? La ruta de las flores. Eh, the flower roots. What flower root? Eh, los chorros de la calera. Ah, oh, okay. El nacimiento de agua. Muy sabroso. Es mm. good to know. Toda la cordillera de la Matepec puede hacer caminatas. Ah. Oh. Ok. Tenemos la laguna de las ninfas. La laguna de las ranas. Mm. Different places. Different places. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful places. Okay, let me see how many people do we have. We have 11. Okay. Well, we are going to start checking the system now.
And then we are going to start talking about the new topic that we need to study today. I hope that all of you can understand what we are going to talk today. In fact, I've been in front of the computer the whole day, working and doing a lot of issues. And suddenly maybe I'm going to use glasses too, to protect my eyes. Okay, and uh, Anna Cristina, are you there? Yes, I'm present. Oh, okay, welcome. Ana El Carmen? Here. Angel? Present. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm seeing here. Okay. Christina? Present teacher. Okay, okay. Fatima? Giovanni? Present teacher. Um, Harrison? Present. Juan Carlos? Present, teacher. Karen Yesenia? Karen? It's not here. Karina? Present. Linda? Linda, Maria Julia, present, Marlene, present, Nancy, Nancy, Norma Carolina? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Rafael Ernesto? Present teacher. Eh, Raquel Judith? Present teacher. Suleima? Suleima Veronica? Suleyma, are you there, Suleyma? Hello, Suleyma. Okay, it's not here, it's not here. I'm trying to check the platform in order to be sure what you have done at this moment. Okay. Only let me see. Um, Karen Yesenia is missing one activity, Nancy Vet. Okay, I got it here. The midterm 
Anoil Carmen is missing the mixture. Uh, let me see, somebody else is missing. Karin Yesenia, Karina, and Nancy Yvette, you are missing the, the mixture exam and you need to do it. So please, ah, Linda is there. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Let me see. What is your name? Okay. Okay, thank you. We are going to start sharing with you. This is uh, class number 11. Today we are going to talk about human resources vocabulary. And uh, we are going to start with this question. What do you know about human resource department in your company? And you need to make a list of what you know about it. But before this, I would like that you tell me or that you think in, in, in the words that you learned the last week. But be honest. Just tell me how many words did you learn the last week? Try to remember, please, and share with me. Hello, are you there? New words from the last week, just tell me. No new words? Do you remember that I told you uh, at the beginning of this module that you need to have a notebook and there you can write down the day for every class. And at the same time, you can create your own vocabulary. Because remember that every, every day, maybe you can find at least one or two new words for you. And you need to keep it in mind. Somebody want to give me some example, please? No? That means that uh, No new words the last week. Teacher, I didn't know the meaning of um, shift. Is the shift is is in the context that we saw it was like a turno. Yes. Like turno de la mañana o turno de la mañana or turno de la tarde. And as chores, chores is like a task, I don't know. Like do this. It se escribe chores, uh -huh. como deberes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Obligaciones. Mm -hmm. Okay, Linda. Somebody else? No. Okay, let us start talking about the question that I already showed you. Okay, what, is, what do you know about the 
HR department in your company. What can you tell me about it? Think about this question, please. When we talk about HR, we are talking about human resources department in your company. What can you share? What can you tell me about it? What do you know about this? Tell me. I'm all ears. Hello? Hello? Tell me, please. What do you know about that topic? No idea about what we are talking now? Alguna idea que tengan relacionada a human resources in your companies? I think in my case, teacher, uh, organized schedule about full time or a part time job. Okay. Thank you, sir. Somebody else, please. In my company, they are in chain of marking contract, marking salary records. Evaluation of personal uh, preparing for to pay stuff. Excellent. Okay, somebody else. Somebody else, please. You must resolve responsible for evaluating the performance for workers oh. her new employees what else que mas Somebody else, please. Hello. Tell me. Someone. Want job application or proof? Okay, Cuando, when somebody uh, wants to get a job in a company, need to look for the human resource sometime. Office, the human resource office to talk with the right person in share of it. Okay, what else? Teacher. Tell me, sir. 
uh, the human resources. Uh, this is the department is in the chair of eating the right personnel for different uh, areas of the company. Okay, excellent, sir. Okay, based on that, based on your experience, um, we are going to study a conversation. related to the human resources. And I hope that all of you can practice. Let us do it now, please. Here we go. Okay, this conversation is between uh, Mr. Chan and Dorian. Please and carefully, please. Excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she's the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruit, recruiting administrative support for the team and recruiter. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, you can see the pictures. They are talking face to face. I'm going to read it again. Mr. Chan said, excuse me, I'm looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator, I see. And can you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is a talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock, okay? Somebody wants to read it? Voluntarios, por favor. Ana Cristina. Yes. Solita. Uh, somebody else can help you. Somebody else wants to help her, please. Me, teacher. Hey, Linda, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Cristina, si gusta inicie. Okay, excuse me. I am from Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see, and could you tell me about their responsibility? Basically, she provides recruiting administ administrative support for the team of recruited recruiters. Understand, and does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes. Mateo Salgado, he is the talent talent management consultant. Where can reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Thanks. Thank you. Somebody else wants to do it. Remember that later on we are going to practice with somebody else in the breakout room. But before to go there, we need to know exactly what we are saying and the way how we are pronouncing each word. For that reason, I'm asking you to read it first. And I need to be sure that all of you pronounce it the right way and then later on you are going to practice in the breakout room. 
Okay, somebody else, please. And this were recruitment, recruitment. Okay. Somebody else, please. Let me see your faces. I need to be sure that you are there. Somebody else wants to do it? Who wants to read? Well, I'm going to read again. Maybe uh, you are not sure about it. I'm going to read it again. Mr. Shan is looking for two employees at RC company. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and practice with the better. Excuse me, I'm looking for Ms. Chavez. Ms. Chavez, can you tell me who she, who, who she is? Sure. She's the recruitment coordinator, I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And that's Mr. Salgado word here. What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Okay, somebody else, please. Hello. Me, teacher. Oh, okay, do it, sir. Only me, teacher. Somebody else wants to help her, uh, help him? Sorry. Me. Okay, uh, Christine. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruits. I understand. I does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent manager consult. Well, I cannot reach here. He returned at one o'clock. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I don't know if you have a question. How to pronounce the word or something like that. Before to go to the breakout room, I need to be sure that all of you have clear the way how you are going to pronounce each word. No question. Yes. Christina. Um, administrative. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. Tell me. Uh, Mr. Schur, she is the requirement. Let me see what it is. Sure. Oh, yeah. She's the recruitment coordinator. Recruitment coordinator. Re. 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 Recruitment. 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 Recruitment coordinator. Recruitment. Thank yes. you. Okay. Somebody else, please. Hello. 
Hello, teacher. Eh, eh, la segunda intervención de Dorian. A okay, ver, let me see. Please. The second, basically. Basically. She provides. She provides. Recruit, recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. Repeat. Okay, okay. Basically, uh -huh. she provides. She provides. Re recruiting. Ah, it's a recruiting. Mm -hmm. Administrative support. Oh, for. For the team of recruiters. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Somebody else, please. No? Okay, let's go to the breakout room if you, if you don't have any questions. Let us do it now. I got 15. One is going to be degraded by three. Okay, we go. Okay. Let us do it now.
Narciso, Rafa, Star. Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. Okay. And I could you tell me about her responsibility? Bicycle, she provides recruiting and support for the dreams of recruiters. I understand. And that's Mr. Salgado for here. What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Okay. Okay, thank you, Rafael. And the lady. Somebody else wants to do it. And also the se the in the second uh, in the second uh, opportunity that Dorian has, you can also pronounce the word administrative. You can say in that way. I guess it's easy for you. Administrative. Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiter. Okay, somebody else, please. Go ahead. Linda, ready? Yes, Juan Carlos. Excuse me, I am looking for Mrs. Chavez. Can you tell me? Who she is? Sure, she is the recruit recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Thank okay. you, Linda. Thanks. Okay, somebody else, please. Harrison. Okay, you have turn. Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. I could you tell me about her the responsibility? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of the recruiters. I understand. And as Mr. Salgado were here, what does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado, he is the talent, he's the talent management consult. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, thank you.
tiene apagado el micrófono, teacher. My goodness. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that uh, don't forget the word that I told you. It is better if you say administrative. It sounds better. And maybe it's easy for you to say in that way. Okay, continue. Somebody else? Me teacher and Marlene. Okay, Nancy. Good. Hello. Hello, Marlene. Uh, excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about responsibility? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does uh, Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Too late, ma'am. Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell she, me who she is? Sure, she is the requirement coordinator. I see. Could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides the coin, the coin, and is a support for the team of recruiters. I understand, and does Mr. Salgado work where, where here? Perdón. What do you, what do you he what he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent manager, manager, consultant. Where can reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Thank you, Ana Cristina. I want to read it again uh, in order that you may uh, some, uh, you can adjust some sounds because I need to be sure that all of you are saying the right way. Excuse me, I am looking, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she's the re recruitment coordinator, I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruit recruiting, administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado is a talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? Reach him. He returns at one o'clock. Okay. Continue, please. Somebody else wants to do it. Somebody else? No? Somebody else? Oh, 
Okay, thank you. If you don't want to practice, okay. Let us continue then. We have two questions that you are going to answer. Okay, very well. Getting fair and discuss the following question. Number one, who is Mrs. Chavez? Miss Chavez. And the second one, what do you think Mr. Chance does? Okay, I'm going to give you like three minutes in order that you can discuss and later on we are going to share the answer. Here we go. Let us talk about these two questions, please. No, Ma Carolina. Somebody is waiting for you. Okay, thank you.
topic. Welcome back. What can you tell me about the first question? Who is Miss Chavez? Hello. She is the recruitment coordinator. Teacher. Teacher, no se Okay, thank you. Okay, based on the reading, show me. She is the recruitment coordinator. She's the one? Ms. Chavez is the recruitment coordinator. Okay, okay. What about the second question? Somebody else, please. Teacher. Hello. Maybe. He think that she was the management consultant. Okay. Could be. What else? Somebody else? Remember the uh, Mr. Chan is the one that is uh, looking for Ms. Chavez. And also he is looking for Mr. Salgado too. Somebody else? No ideas. Try to infer according to the, the conversation that we have in the book, please. New picture. Okay, Angel, now season. Uh, Mr. Chang is a person looking for a job. Ah, could be, okay. Okay, somebody else? Hello. Okay, I'm going to give you time in order that you can think about it. Meanwhile, I'm going to check up the attendance again. 
in order to be sure that all of you are here. Okay, here we go. Okay, Anna Cristina. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present. Cristina. Present. Fátima del Carmen. Present. Fátima is there. Fátima, are you? Yes, present. Okay, okay. Uh, Giovanni. Present. Person. Present. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Uh, Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Okay, I'm sorry. I... Marlene, is there? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Nancy? Present. Norma? Present, teacher. Rafael? Present, teacher. Suleima? Suleima? Present, present teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Your name is Raquel. Raquel Judith. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Ahora sí están todos. I like that. Okay. As you can see, uh, I sent you a link, the WhatsApp group. I hope that you have seen. We are going to talk about employee job descriptions. If you have the opportunity to watch it, it is just uh, about like one and a half minutes, I guess. You can watch it now if you want.
Okay, I consider that right now you have an idea of what we are going to talk about it. When we talk about job description, that means that we need to know exactly about the, all the tasks that people have to do, or have to do. And at the same time, uh, we need to engage employees. And we need to have a really clear what is expected of them. Based on that, also we need to provide all the equipment that people need in order to a, a good job, a good work, you know. And that way, if you provide all the tools, he or she uh, is going to do an excellent job. But in order to, to go Deep on this, I got some questions that we need to ask in order to be really sure about what we want. For example, the first one, what, what needs to be done to keep the office organized, for example? What do you think? Somebody, what, what needs to be done to keep the office organized? Or also you can ask what computer program needs to be learned. What are the step, the volunteer application approval, placement process? What kind of training do volunteers need? What is the best approach for communicating with volunteers, other employees and church members? What are the needs? our volunteers and what department, departmental will need designated time and focus. Based on this question, we can uh, organize in this way. Yeah, for example, we need uh, an office organization. Also, we need to know computer programs to develop different dash. Talking about application, we can talk about approval and placements. And also, uh, we need to know if volunteers are going to need any trainings, you know? And also, the process that they are going to follow to communicate with different departments, the needs they have in the department walls. But, what can you tell me about it after you watch the video? Well, I'm going to show you, uh, for example, in this case, we have uh, an, something that uh, tell us exactly what a volunteer need to do. And we have all, all, all the, the duties that somebody has to, to do job. And also you can see here, when we talk about job description, we are going to talk about employee walls, departmental walls, and also the organizational walls. And then we need to have an strategy plans in order to reach all the walls. And I, and I consider that you are familiar with this uh, kind of information. But I, I would like to hear some of you based on the, on the video. What can you tell me about the video? The main point here, maybe, is the word tash that we need to have clear when we are going to describe the job. But tell me, 
Necesito que alguien me diga qué comprendió del vídeo. Hello. Tell me. What, what is the meaning of the first word that I show you? Engaged employees. Let us start talking about that word first. If I ask you, are you an engaged employee? What can you tell me? Maybe my microphone is not working because anybody wants to give me an answer. But I consider that it's working well. You can look in the dictionary, the word engage, if you don't know what we are talking about. It. And I ask you a question Do you consider that? You are an engaged employee. Un empleado comprometido. Ah, uh -huh. do you consider yourself that you are one? Yes, with my company, I have an an en engage with my company. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okie dokie, based on that, another question that maybe a uh, manager has to ask is what, is what is expected of an employee? ¿Qué será lo que espero de un empleado? Of course, that... Uh, as manager, I need, uh, I need to be clear that uh, I had to give him or her all the tools in order that he or she can perform a good job. In your case, do you have all, your, all the tools that you need in order to do a good job? Yes or no? Tell me. I think I have the, okay. okay. I think I have the, the tools. All the tools. The 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 okay. Somebody else? Hello. That means that if you reach uh, your walls, your company walls, that means that you get some rebirth, right? How often 
Do you get yes, it's the best part? Ah, the best part, the best part. <laughs> okay. Okay, I understand that. Bonus. Bonus are really important for us. Especially in this moment. In Christmas moment, you know? Because we have a lot of expenses. Okay. But I would like to hear, to listen to somebody else. Do you consider that the video is difficult to understand it? Or not? Will you please repeat the question, teacher? I can. How, how do you feel? How do you feel the video? Difficult? Do you understand exactly what? Sometimes, no, not all the, the conversation, but some ideas. Suddenly some word, maybe, right? Some expression. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I invite you to listen over and over, over and over in your free time and then you are going to get familiar with the uh, with the sounds. Okay, thank you. Because we need to we need to sharp our ear in order to understand exactly what the people is uh, what the people are saying. You know. For the reason uh, now that you are studying English, I invite you to watch movies and everything that you could uh, in English, but no caption, only yes, the audio. That is going to help you a lot. Traten por todos los medios de si van a ver uh, una película hoy que van a estar de vacaciones. Y es cuando más trabajo tienen, ¿sí? <laughs> okay, but at the moment that you have the right time, you can uh, watch it in English. And that way you are going to get familiar with the pronunciation of the word. Because suddenly, uh, de repente, por ejemplo, cuando pronunciamos una palabra aisladamente, isolated, uh, we can say it in, the, in, in one way, but when we are producing a conversation, we can switch a little bit the sound. And we need to adopt because later on we are going to listen in that way. Me comprendieron lo que dije, cierto? Well, I consider yeah. this is this is module six. For that reason, sometimes I speak only in English, you know. And I and I think and I consider that you understand at least more than the sixty percent of what I'm saying. And that is the main purpose that you face it through. That you need to know. That you need to learn more English, more vocabulary. And that way, you are going to. Uh, create your own vocabulary about each lesson, about each session, you know. Pero tiene que ser un hábito que ustedes deben de crear sus propios vocabularios eh, de cada clase. Pero me, me, me quedo ahí como así pensativo cuando les digo, ah, ok, díganme las palabras que aprendieron la semana pasada. Y solo me responden dos, tres. Y yo me pregunto, ¿y el resto? Yo sé que si las tienen. 
the problem is that you you hesitate and and you don't want to participate but i know that you are learning okay let us continue then Okay, we are going to read the information on the on the HR personnel, and then we are going to answer some questions. So please go to page number thirty. Or Tari, if you understand it that way. Okay, let's go there and there. Uh, we are going to read it. We have some information. If you don't have it, I'm going to share it with you in order that you can help me read it. Okay, I think that you are watching now. Read the information on the HR personnel, then answer the question below. Okay, what about the third one? Recruitment coordinator, bachelor's degree, organize a schedule of candidate interview, open and post requisition, coordinate internal and internet job posting, has a degree in management, work with and support a recruiting team has five years of experience, works on weekdays, works part time. Okay, who wants to read it? Hello. Teacher, which paragraph? The first, the first one. one. The same. Yeah, okay. yeah, the same, the same because uh, I'm going to let Recruitment you read it. Coordinate. Okay, recruitment coordinator. Bachelor's degree. A nice schedule of, of candidate interviews. Opens and post requisitions. Coordinate internal and internet job posting. Has a degree in management. Works with and supports a recruitment team. Has five years of experience. Works on weekdays. Works part time. Okay. Somebody else want to read it, please? The same paragraph. In teacher. Okay, Marlon. Equipment coordinator, bachelor degree, organizes good a schedule of candidate candidate interviews open opens and post request requestions coordinators internal and internal job postings has a degree in man in management works with a support a recruitment team has five years of experience works on weekdays and works part time 
Okay, only two words. Requisition. Requisition. And recruiting. Recruiting. Okay, somebody else, please. El mismo teacher. Yeah, the same because uh, en español se lo voy a decir. Quizás voy a, a, a necesitar que la mayoría vaya leyendo el mismo para que se les vaya grabando. Y cuando ya hayan pasado la mayoría, ya eh, pasamos al siguiente. Porque me interesa okay. mucho que todos participen. Ok, mi teacher. Recruitment coordination. Bachelor degree. Organizes sketches of candidate interviews. Opens in box requisition. Coordinates internal and internet job postings, has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruited team, has five years of experience, works on win with days, works part time. Part time, part time. Part time, part time. And, and the topic? Read again the topic, please. This one, the topic. Repeat. Yeah, could you read only on the topic? Recruit, recruitment coordinator, bachelor's degree. Okay, okay, okay. Recruitment coordinator. Recruitment coordinator. Right here. Recruitment. Recruitment coordinator. Re Recruitment coordinator. It's not exactly an E. No es una, una I tan así pronunciada. Recruitment coordinator. Right. Recruitment coordinator. Okay, somebody else, please. Me. Okay, Christina. Recruitment coordinator. Bachelor degree. Organize a schedule of candidate interviews. Open and post recruit recruit coordinate international and internet job posting, has had regret and management, management, work with and sub and super recruitment team, has five years of experience, work on weekdays, work part-time. Okay, coordinates internal, internal, and internet job posting. Requisition. Okay, let us read the second one. Benefit the specialist. Who wants to read it? Me teacher. Benefit specialist, bachelor's degree, develops and maintains competitive, progressive and proactive compensation plans, creates cost effective benefit programs to provide motivation 
incentives and rewards for effective performance, works on weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. Thank you. Bachelor degree develops and maintains competitive, progressive, and proactive compensation plan, creates costs, effective benefit program to provide motivation, incentive, and reward for effective performance. Where and on weekdays, part time job, three years of experience in this position. Okay, somebody else want to read it, please? Hello. Let us practice now. It is the time that you can do it. Me teacher. Okay. Benefit the specialist. Bachelor's degree develops and maintains competitive, progressive and proactive compensation plans create cost-effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentives, and rewards for effective performance, works on web base, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. In this position. Okay, uh, we are going to continue reading and then you are going to choose if you want to read the number one, two, three, or four, okay? Okay, the number three is a talent management consultant by a bachelor degree responsible for leadership development, career development, access, performance, learning, and development work on Saturday, full-time job, five years of experience. And the last one, human resources generalist. Bachelor degree, maintenance, knowledge of legal requirement and government reporting, regulation affecting human resources, response to fire rewarding policies, procedure and program, work on salary, part-time job, five years of experience in similar position. And now, I consider that all of you have the material. I believe, I guess that this moment all of you had the material. Is that true or not? A esta altura del módulo creo que todos tienen el material. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Okay. okay. Okay, let me see. Um, Suleyma, do you want to read the number three, please? Repeat, teacher. Could you read number three? Um, talent manager. Let me see. Talent, talent management consultant. Okay. Bayron mm. the grid responsible for their leadership, bailment, Karen's. Eh, teacher, usted repitió esto para, para saber cómo se pronuncia. Lo dijo usted antes. Disculpe que okay. me había levantado a tomar agua. Ah, ok, no problem. Sí lo leí, pero entonces... Ah, ok. Sí, hagamos algo. Uh, uh -huh. eh, dejemos que alguien más lo lea para que lo pueda oír. Ok, thank you. Ok, okay. no problem. Ok, volunteer who wants to read it. Un voluntario que quiera leerlo para que la compañera pueda oírlo. No, no hay voluntarios. Me teacher. Ah, okay, Rafael Ernesto. 
talent management consultant, bachelor degree, responsible for leader, leadership development, career development, access performance, learning and development, work on Saturday, full-time job while you're of experience. Okay, that's it. Thank you, somebody else. Okay, give me a give, give me a, a name. Solo un nombre, Rafa. Miss Miss Karen. Miss Karen. Ah, My teacher. Karen Yesenia Martinez. Okay. Talent management consultant. Bachelor degree responsible for leadership development, career development, access performance, learning and development. Works on Saturday, full time job, one year of experience. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Choose another one, please. Elija otra persona. And you are um, going to read the, the next number. Ya no van a leer el mismo. Cuando alguien elija, van a leer el número que sigue. Sí. Imagine you are number four. The next one is going to be number one and so on. Okay. Okay. Ana Cristina. Okay. Ana Cristina, teacher. Ana Cristina. Where are you, Ana Cristina? Okay, Ana Cristina. Talent management consultant. The general degree responsible for leadership development, current development. Access for performance, learning, and development. Works on Saturday, full time job, one year of experience. Choose somebody else, please. Donnie. Okay. Number one, but teacher. Yes. Recruitment coordinator. Bachelor degree. Organize schedule of candidate interview. Open and post requisition. Coordinate internal and internet job posting. Has a degree in management. Work with works with and support a recruitment recruiting team has five years of experience. Works on week weekdays. Works part time. New teacher. Mute. Tiene el micrófono apagado, teacher. It's going on with me. Okay. Tell me. Another name. Yes. Okay. Mm. Maria Julia.
Hello, are you there? Maria Julia, are you there? Okay, try try to um turn on your cameras, please. If you don't have any problem, just turn on your cameras. Remember that it's mandatory that we have uh, our cameras on. I believe that you have a problem with your device, maybe. Yeah. Okay, shoot somebody up, please. Elige a alguien más. Karina. Ok, siempre. Uh, ok, gracias. Karina, continúa. Before you start, Karina, uh, cuando les pida que elijan a alguien más, estemos pendientes de que sean eh, personas que no han participado, porque hay varios que no han participado, para que no se vayan a repetir. Ok, hey, Karina. The number four, right? Um. Human Resources Generalist. Bachelor's degree maintains knowledge of legal requir requirements and government reporting regulation affecting human resources. Response to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Works on Saturday, part-time job, five years of experience in similar positions. Okay, thank you. Give me, give me another name. I'm not going to say she's your victim because a algunos no le gusta oír esa expresión que le diga elija su vida. Um, Marlene. Okay, Marlene. Okay. Uh, which one? One, two, three, or four. Okay. The instruction that I gave this, la instrucción es que dijo la siguiente. Si alguien lee el número, un ejemplo, si lee el número tres, a usted le corresponde leer el número cuatro. En este caso, Karina leyó okay. el número. Four. Okay, para que estemos todos pendientes de cuál es el que estamos leyendo. Ok. Continue. Ok. Recruitment coordinator, bachelor degree. Organize, organize schedule on candidate interviews, open and post request, 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 sure. coordinates internal and internal job posting, has a degree in management, works with and supports a recruitment team, has five years of experience, works on web, works on weekdays, and works part time. Uh, Should somebody help, please? Christina. Benefits specialist, bachelor degree, develops and maintains comparative, progressive and proactive compensatory plans, creates cut effective benefits programs to provide motivation, incentives, and rewards for effective performance. Work on weekend, weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. Okay, thank you. Well, I guess that you already got familiar with the information. Based on that, uh, I need uh, we are going to answer the question that we have. 
In exercise number four, answer the question made by an external auditor. Number one, what does the recruitment coordinator do? The second one, what is the recruitment coordinator's experience? Number three, when does the recruitment coordinator work? Okay, I need that you look these answers. The material you can find it. Try to look for the information, please. Hello. Okay, question number one, who wants to answer it? What does the recruitment coordinator do? You have the answer in the material. Uh, the part is organized a schedule of candidate interview, coordinate internal and internet job posting, and works with and support a recruitment team. Okay. What about the second one? Somebody else, please. Also, you can say that uh, a recruitment coordinator work with and support as a recruitment, what you said, okay. The second one, what is the recruitment coordinator's experience? Five years of experience. Wow, five years of experience. And the third one, when does the recruitment coordinator work? Works on the week weekdays. Weekdays, okay, thank you. Okay, based on that, uh, we are going to have like uh, five minutes. In five minutes, I guess that you can do. Based on the conversation, we're going to be a, a short conversation related with our resources. And for that, you are going to get gathering pairs. Remember that you are not going to do it uh, in the same length. No la van a hacer así de larga como está ahí, sino va a ser corta. Like you are looking for a job and you need to talk with the right person or something like that. But I need that you use, use Usen su creatividad. Ok, here we go.
Right now, they are in a breakout room. They are creating a short conversation related with the vocabulary started in this lesson. Okay, let us see who wants to do it. Hello? Are you there? Time is running, time is running. Excuse me, mom. No. I'm sorry, mom. No, no finish. She didn't finish. No, we didn't finish. No. It's a little time. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you two more minutes, okay? Remember that it's going to be a short conversation. It's not going to be a long conversation. Teacher, I converse.
Okay. Let me see. Let me see. What do you have? Christina, we try. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, hey, hello. I am looking for Miss Hernandez. Can you tell can you tell me who she is? Yes. She works in coordinate international and internet just posting. Has a degree in management and work with a super recruit team. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. It is nice. Okay, somebody else? The last pair. La última pareja de hoy. And remember, if you want to do it, you can do it tomorrow at the beginning of the class. I try to do it. Somebody else want to do it? No. Okay, thank you very much. Time is over, I'm going to... Check up the attendance again. Okay, Ana Cristina. Hello, teacher. Ana del Carmen. Present, teacher. Angel. Present. Cristina. Stephanie. Fatima. Present. Fanny. Present, teacher. Present. Okay, Giovanni. Person? Present. Juan Carlos? Present, teacher. Karen Yesenia? Present, teacher. Karina? Linda? Present, teacher. Maria Julia? Present. Marlene? Present. Nancy? Present, teacher. Norma? Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Raquel. Tuleima. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, in Espanol. Felicitarle a la mayoría ya tiene completas sus actividades de la semana 1 y 2. Incluso el midterm. Solo invitar a los que les hace falta, por favor. Traten de ponerse al día. A Nancy le falta la semana 2. Eh, a Karen Yesenia. 
realizarse más. Que más me falta. Y un midterm. Karina. Karen Yesenia. En Ana del Carmen. Ah. Creo que solo son ellos. And today I need to talk with Rafael Ernesto Tanena. Is that possible, Rafael? Hello, teacher. It is possible that you stay at the end of the class? Yes, it's possible. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget uh, to study the new vocabulary. Una pregunta así en, 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 en español. Lo que estuvimos leyendo el día de hoy, uh, I know that there are some words that are kind of difficult. Try to repeat it and look for, if you, if you don't have the right meaning, you can look it up in a dictionary. That is going to help you a lot. Traten de buscar algunas palabras que les sean complicadas eh, mm -hmm. para que tengan el significado y se vayan haciendo de más vocabulario. Recuerden que es muy importante el ir aprendiendo este vocabulario para que en el siguiente nivel ya lo tengan en sus mentes y puedan usarlo más fácil. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay, you, teacher. You're, you're welcome. No sé, no recuerdo eh, si la vez anterior le di eh, un link donde pueden eh, encontrar las pronunciaciones o no. No, ok, I'm going to share it with you como una herramienta para que la puedan tener ahí, puedan encontrar y, y eso les va a ayudar muchísimo. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay, I hope to see you Good tomorrow. Night. Thank you very much. Good night, teacher. Te felicito porque estuvieron todos. <laughs> y uh, see you soon. Bye bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Rafael. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Rafael. I don't know if you have a question. Yes. Como es, como es sorpresa, no había, no había notado. Ah, <laughs> uh, really? No. Improvise, improvise. <laughs> uh, yes. Really. Lo que, sí, lo que, lo que le recomiendo es... Uh, Cuando tenga alguna duda y no la pueda hacer en el momento, escríbala en su cuaderno. Y cuando ya le corresponde, usted solo busca y dice, ah, me recuerdo que tengo unas anotadas. Sí, aquí voy, voy marcando algunas que más o menos se me han ido quedando. Por lo menos a teacher que se me ha olvidado el bachelor. Bachelor. Más... El ah, bachelor. Yes, what doesn't it? Ah, the meaning? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Maybe you can understand it. In my case, for example, I have a bachelor's degree in English. The bachelor degree is when you study five years. Cuando usted estudia cinco años, obtiene una? Bueno, una carrera o, o un título. Una licenciatura, digamos. Duro. Sí. Sería un, ya sería el completado. Sí, eso, eso es una, una carrera. Bueno, en El Salvador se, generalmente son de cinco años. En otros países como Estados Unidos son de cuatro años. Uh -huh. Okay, what else? 
Entonces sería este bachelor de brisco como ya graduado, quiere decir, no se entendía. Sí, porque lo, lo que le está pidiendo es que tenga una licenciatura. Por eso le dice bachelor degree. Sí. Ok, así ya entendí. Y hoy, por ejemplo, hay, hay incluso masters o maestrías que son en management. Son enfocadas en human resources. En diferentes eh, areas, you ¿no? Know? Ya. Yeah. Ok. ¿Qué eh, más? Seldon, ¿qué does it mean in Spanish? Seldon. Seldon. Mm, have a lot of meaning, but could be a lot of places. How how you can use it in a in a in a sentence? Seldom, rara veces, con poca frecuencia. For example, somebody could say, "I seldom go to church." Yo rara veces voy a la iglesia. Maybe cost your job or I don't know. Or if, if you don't read uh, soda every day, you can say, I, I seldom drink soda, you know? Or I seldom drink coffee. It's it's like self. coffee. See? Yes. Uh, tengo otra visor. B, sir. Which one? B, sir. How do you spell it? B, U, C, C, A, R, S. Is. Do you write in the chat, please? Okay. Ah, buzzer, buzzer. 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 Okay, Buzz. in, in, in a restaurant, is the person in shares of uh, carry all, 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 all the plates? Las personas que, que limpian las mesas, que se llevan todos los platos. Esos son los buzzer. Uh, buzzer. Yes. Eso son los buzzer. Le voy, a, le voy a escribir la otra, que tengo la duda. Which one? Handle? Hand, handle. Handle. So all, 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 all the panel that on the context, this word. Eso depende del contexto en esta palabra. Por ejemplo, uh, leame toda la expresión que tiene ahí. I handle eh, a bachelor degree, por ejemplo. Mm, kitchen, he cook, handle his team. Okay, let me see. Do you, do you know the place where you are looking for? 
¿Sabes la página? El number 27. 27. Ok. ¿A what time? ¿En qué hora está? Eh, 4.10 p.m. 4.10 p.m. May a special for second shift. Server, ambassador, kitchen, head, cook, handle his things. That means that the, the kitchen head, el, el, el eh, monitorea, mueve su, su equipo. El jefe de cocina. The kitchen head could handle his things. Mm. Por eso le decía que depende del contexto del, del, de la palabra. Ok. El que maneja, el que guía. Te diría. Oh, si sí entendió. De ahí, only that teacher. Ok. De ahí vamos a tener que anotar las demás, las que se los vayan quedando. Sí, ese, ese es lo que le digo, que es necesario que ustedes vayan creando su propio vocabulario, lo escriben en inglés y luego buscan los significados en español y se, se repite unas 15 veces y luego se comienza a usar en medio de, de qué, de oraciones, de frases, para que se vaya quedando, ¿no? Eso es muy importante en cada clase, ir creando su propio vocabulario. Porque van saliendo palabras nuevas. ¿Qué es? Y la otra es que lo que les dije hace mucho, tener un lápiz y si tienen el material impreso, escribir la pronunciación así como ustedes la oyen. Y, y de esa manera se les va quedando más rápido. De acuerdo, teacher, ahí vamos a ir marcando las, las que más o menos se lo van olvidando. Ok. Thank okay. you, teacher. Ok, you're welcome, sir. I hope to see you tomorrow. Let's see you tomorrow. Ok, good night. Good night, too, teacher.